giving all praises, honors and glories unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukhakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth that we well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Paya. As you see here, it's the um, a tangled uh, U.S. flag. They're saying this resembling an angel <laughs> has internet convinced Trump was protected by God. And listen, we know that the Lord is orchestrating all of this. This was on the New York Post, right? They're saying uh, was a divine intervention, a striking image of a tangled U.S. flag that appears to res resemble an angel. Has the internet convinced that former President Donald Trump was protected by a higher power when a de deranged shooter tried to assassinate him? And um, listen, people is gonna see the angels real soon. All right, the dark skinned men with white woolly hair. You know, coming in the chariots. Now, they trying to make this guy seem like, you know, he's more than what he is. You know, even whether it is all orchestrated. See, the flag is tangled just like this place. It's all tangled up in confusion, in madness, right? And now, um, Biden... Uh, 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 allegedly has a uh, the C19 and he might drop out let's see how this may uh, tangle from here <laughs> so to speak right um so I just want to bring this scripture out real quick in the book of Job chapter 12 and verse 16 it says with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his, right? Real quick. You know, Trump is, is, is deceiving people. You know what I mean? Obviously, just look at, look at his ear. I mean, and they say news from a sniper. Come on, that's deception. You know, you read in the comments, you know, these people are not, you got Christians that, that, that fall for things like this. You know, but we're not ignorant saints devices. Right? Um and, and the only reason why that do standing and all of this is is um brewing just like when the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. You know. Um let me see. They saying the kid would, hey man, we'll see. But anyway, let's get the scripture. It says, He leadeth counselors away, spoiled, and maketh the judges fools. He looseth the bond of kings, and girdeth their loins with a girdle. He leadeth princes away, spoiled, and over, overthroweth the mighty. The Lord's going to overthrow this place, man, when he comes back. Yahweh Shai, he's the deliverer. With, 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 the holy angels, right? Michael the archangel, you know? And they coming for judgment. Also to deliver the elect from the four corners of the earth. So the Lord overthrows the mighty, right? I believe in um, Deuteronomy, it tells you how the Lord, you know, he, he built, he raises up kings and destroys them. You see, verse 20, he removeth away the speech of the trusty and taketh away the understanding of the aged. Hmm. Right? And people, hey, the scripture says, simple believe of every word. He poureth contempt upon princes and weakeneth the strength of the mighty. He discovereth deep things out of darkness. And bringeth out to light the shadow of death. And this place is the shadow of death. You know? And, and, and A. Didn't Trump, so to speak, become a, a, a dictator? So to speak, you know what I mean? When he was supposed to be uh, convicted. Right? The same man that gave... 
the authority to FEMA. It says he taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. And there is no way in this place. These people, they, they, they don't know where this place is headed to. You know? But soon they're going to see because all hell is going to break loose. Alright? And then he, he wears that mega hat. You know? Where it, it, it got numbers on it that leads to 9-11. The same man that said um, the, the calm before the storm. Well, that storm is coming. These people are not aware of it. They grow up in darkness without light and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Alright, so, you know, you got a lot of people, like I said, on, on, you know, that, on the comments that are, some are not taking it seriously, you know, because they believe it. And some are just like, yo, this is pathetic. You know, this is a reach, a tangled flag as an angel. Come on, man. You know? But, um, as a matter of fact, let me get one more, one more scripture. Because every, every king, like where we was in, in captivity under, the Lord set them up. Right? Assyrian kings, Babylonian, the king of Babylon. Um, um, Egypt, Pharaoh. You know, he hardened his heart for a period of time for our people to get their judgment in these different captivities. But then he, he brought them low by raising up other kings to bring them down. You know? So the angels is coming. Yahweh is going to bring these kings down. That's why he's referred to as the king of kings. Right? Slack here. Forgive me. Uh, Daniel 2 and 21. Uh, it says that he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that no understanding. Right? So he he, he he he's orchestrating all of this and he giveth wisdom unto the wise, you know? So we're not ignorant of, of, of their tactics. You know? Anyway, with that, shalom.